Ben's story this week is called The Giving Manger. All year we would wait with joy and delight to receive a wood toy on Christmas night. Father would carve them with love and care because we had little money to spare. One Christmas was different. A new tradition began. On Thanksgiving Day, Father told us the plan. Children, we will give more gifts this year. More than one gift, I was thrilled to hear. The giving will start on the first day of December. Those days of waiting were the longest I remember. On December 1st, I ran downstairs to see just what special thing my first present would be. No wrapping, no ribbon, no presents were there. Just a simple wood manger fathered made with care. Children, this manger is my gift to you. Listen and I'll tell you just what to do. This Christmas, we'll celebrate the great gift of all, Jesus Christ born, a baby so small. Throughout his life, Christ always was giving, loving, serving, and never receiving. This year, we will offer gifts back to him by serving others, giving gifts from within. Each time you serve someone, you also serve Christ. Remember the scripture we read last night. And as much as you have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, you have done it unto me. That's from the Bible, the book of Matthew. As you serve others, you also serve Jesus. That is the message the scripture teaches. Each time you serve, put a straw in the manger. Serve your brother, your mother, a friend, or a stranger. I felt sad that this manger was all I would get. Dad said more gifts. I couldn't forget. I noticed my brother had tears in his eyes. I could not remember ever seeing him cry. I cannot believe Dad would do this, he said. He promised us gifts and just gave us this bed. We don't ask for much, just one measly toy. Why is he taking our Christmas joy? They're not very happy, are they? That morning was filled with frustration and anger. I wanted to throw away the manger. But when I got home from school that day, the manger held 10 new pieces of hay. My chores were all finished, my laundry all done. A note on my bed said, Anne, go have fun. My mother had worked hard serving me. Gifts aren't always found under a tree. It was my turn to serve and give to others. I'd follow the example of Christ and my mother. I thought about Jesus, that if he'd been there, he'd want me to love. He'd want me to care. I started to give by washing dishes. Then I cleaned off Dad's boots and gave him kisses. I wrote a, different, a kind note for my brother, Ben. Placed straw in the manger, went to bed with a grin. But Ben was still mad, refused to join in. I decided I'd fix it by serving him. While Ben did his homework, I snuck out the door and shoveled the snow, his least favorite chore. The next day, I saw him put straw in the manger. Gone was the sadness, disappointment, and anger. He'd woken up early, heading out to the shed, building and painting a baby doll bed. He'd made this gift for the girl down the street. They had no toys or money and little to eat. I asked my mom if we had food we could spare. We walked to her house hoping no one would hear. We knocked, left the gifts, and ran away, hid behind a bush to hear what they'd say. Jane opened the door with tears in her eyes. Our prayers were answered. Look at this surprise. As we walked away, I looked up at Ben. We serve Jesus, and by helping them. Now I see what serving really can do. It brings joy to those you serve and changes you. On Christmas, the manger was full. We'd done it. 
Then Father told us there was one more present, a small baby Jesus carved by our mother, so simple, so humble, and like no other. You did it, my children. The manger is full, full of service and love, the baby it now holds. Baby Jesus had no crib for a bed, but you gave him this manger filled with love instead. 